Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 121 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. I have been doing a lot of stuff to protect myself against some upcoming potential problems with the Enderman. Uh, today, I want to work on something a little bit different that I haven't had too much time to spend on, and that is some witchery magic. I think there's a few things that witchery might be able to get us that might be able to help us out and bring us a little bit more uh, power to help protect us from the craziness that the Enderman might uh, bring against us. So uh, let's go investigate our witchery setup. So let's see, let's head to the overworld real quick and go see how our witchery setup is doing because we haven't been over there in a little while. I just want to go check on things. So obviously this setup is still here. Uh, everything looks good. I've debated whether or not I should move this over to my new base, but I decided, you know what? Not really necessary. I'm going to hold off and not worry about it. I do have a decent altar with plenty of stuff in it. And we've got, of course, these chests with tons of loot in them and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, I do have some chalk. I'm going to want to upgrade that stuff. So there's a couple different pieces of chalk I'm going to want to get. And a couple different items that I'm probably going get, to get my hands on. So there's probably a little bit of work to be done in order to get this place up to snuff for what I want to do. I want to do some really advanced witchery stuff. So we're going to need to uh, work our way through some of the crazy things that we're going to want to start working with. So for now. Let me get situated, make sure I've got everything I want, and then we'll be back to get started. Uh, I think one of the first things I'll do is create a link book that leads between here and my base so I don't have to keep running or flying as it is uh, from one spot to another to get between my link books. I'll just create a couple link books so I can get to my witchery location and back to age 11 with ease. All right, so a little bit of age jumping there, and we've now got a linking book that leads to the overworld, a.k.a. our witchery area. Cool, and a link book back to age 11. Nice. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I'd like to do some infusion magic. Now, there's many different types of magic that's part of the witchery mod, and uh, one of the ones that we're going to look at is infusion. Uh, infusion will be able to endow your character with some very very powerful traits. Uh, you can see there's a couple of them here. Uh, there's the soul of the world, ghost of the light, uh, spirit of otherware, infernal animus. These all give you different powers and abilities. I want to go with the spirit of otherware because that, believe it or not, has something of an Enderman kind of twist to its power set. So you'll be able to do some of the things that Enderman can do once you are fully powered as a witch. So in order to do this, we're going to need a couple eyes of Ender in a kettle. We're also going to need the long duration potion of swiftness. So we'll have to figure out how to make that drop of luck. Let's see, do I happen to have any drops of luck? I have oil of vitriol, but I don't appear to have any drop of luck. So we'll get our hands on some of that. It looks like it's just mutation. Tandis plus refined evil plus a water bottle. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, Mutandis, uh, I think we might have some of that. You know, we will have to find our way to some refined evil as well. Boy, I thought we had more stuff from Witchery, but I guess we don't really have that much. I'll have to also check my AE system just in case there's any of it floating around in there. So we'll have to see what we can do. Let's pop over. Uh, I was considering having my AE system accessible back at this witchery location. We'll see. I could always set up another one of those things, but let's see. Uh, so I want an infusion potion. So we want um, Spirit of Otherware is what it's called. There it is. Uh, so Drop of Luck is actually Shaped Crafting. We do have the Mutandus Extremis, but we're going to have to get some refined evil, which is simply distilling a gas tier and some diamond vapor. That I think I've got. So let's get some gas tiers. Um, and do we have any diamond vapor? I might need to get that. Just in case. Uh, so that's oil vitriol on a diamond. Just want to make sure I've got everything I need. Foul fume and quick lime and foul fume. We should have plenty of that. And we should also have some quick lime as well. But just in case we don't, eh, we'll see. We'll see what's over there. Oil of vitriol. Nice. Okay. So. Spirit of otherware. Drop of luck. Refined Evil is Diamond Vapor plus Ghast Tier. So I might have some Diamond Vapor on hand. Nope. I really don't have as much stuff as I thought. We might have to do a little bit more of uh, this witchery stuff, huh? Diamond and Oil of Vitriol in 
the distillery. Oh, look, here's some demonic blood and some refined evil. Nice. I know I probably had something along those lines. Uh, so let's see. This guy and oil of vitriol should start brewing up. Nice. I'll come back in a minute when it's done and make sure I also have some of the other ingredients we're going to need here uh, before we can really get started on this. We're also going to need wool of bat, actually. Um, and if we don't have any wool of bat... Oh, we do have one. Nice. Uh, so that'll do. So wool of bat. We'll want some ender eyes. One, two. And then finally we're going to want... Uh, this is the tricky stuff. Redstone soup. So this requires a tongue of dog and redstone. Don't have any tongues of dog, but let's get our uh, little knife thing from witchery. What's that thing called again? There it is. It was in my white satchel, the Arthana. Cool. Uh, I should have, as it stands, in my mob spawner. I think I found wolves at one point and grabbed them because I knew I would need this. So let's go ahead and grab wolves get them ready to spawn and spawner on grinders off door open this should start spawning wolves for me and you want to kill them with the arthana and that gives you a better chance of getting the the rare drop aka the wolf dog or the tongue of dog so i got a couple of them already so that's good good thing i was somewhat prepared for this you could, of course, just let the um, automated system kill these guys, and that'll work too, I think. Um, but you have a better chance of getting it, like I said. So we'll turn the spawner off, turn the grinders back on, door close, and just anything that happened and got picked up, good. Plenty of wool of uh, the, the dog tongue there. Cool. So let's find out what else we need for the soup, besides redstone. Uh, we're going to need belladonna flour, drop of luck, wool of bat. Oh, we're going to need more wool of back. Okay. Well, in that case, let's spawn up some of those. So, uh, we can do our mob selector. Once again, made sure I had a bat, because I was prepared for this. Remember, like, way long ago I said we might want to hang on to this stuff? Yeah. Turn on the spawner. Uh, we'll leave the lights on. Grinders off and door open. And I'll be back in a minute once I get a couple more items here. All right, guys, so I think I've got what I need here. This stuff's still distilling a little bit for me, getting a few more things. But let's get the first component of this redstone soup, uh, which would happen to be uh, the drop of luck, which is refined evil plus mutandus uh, in a crafting table. So let's get it. Uh, we should have that one refined evil in here, and we're refining a little bit more for us right now. Mutandus and water bottle. I was under the impression that was all I needed. I guess it's not shapeless. There we go. Drop of luck. Cool. Um, and if we're almost done with that stuff, there's another one. Cool. Because I know I'm going to need it in a minute anyway. Another one. Okay. So now we're ready to make redstone soup, which is tongue of dog, belladonna flower, mandrake root. So did I ever make the witch's hat? That's a good question. Because that actually helps you out a little bit. We made the uh, witch's gear. I thought it was in there. Where is it? Was that it? There it is. Witch's hat. Ah, improves brewing one more. And how do we make that stuff? Uh, we're going to need some impregnated leather, which doesn't look too bad. Diamond vapor and whiff of magic. I have two whiffs of magic. Doesn't look hard to make either. It's Witch's Oven, Rowan Saplings. I think I've got some of those handy. In the Witch's Oven, go Rowan Saplings, go. Um, Diamond Vapor, which obviously I'm cooking up a little bit of. And I can actually get more of now. So Diamond Vapor was... Just diamond and oil of vitriol. Okay. I wouldn't mind getting the witch's hat. It just sounds like a lot of fun. And then uh, we're also going to need golden thread, which is just the spinning wheel with some whiffs of magic, which we're getting, and a hay bale. I might need to run back to get a hay bale. There 
we go. And that goes onto the spinning wheel with a whiff of magic. So let's get some of those whiffs of magic that we're cooking up. Spinning wheel plus hay bale equals go. Nice. And then just glowstone dust. I should have seen that before I... There it is. We've got some. Cool. So we've got some of this stuff. Just waiting on that diamond vapor. And then I need some leather, which I doubt I have any of. Luckily, it's just a link book away. Okay, these guys I don't need. So... Which is hat. Uh, impregnated leather. Done. Which is hat. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. Oh yeah, looking sharp. Alright, now that I've got that ready, I can do some brewing. Just make sure brewing a little bit more efficient. Redstone, soup time. Sounds delicious. Uh, tongue of dog, redstone, drop of luck. So I'm going to kind of organize this appropriately. Tongue of dog, redstone, drop of luck. Belladonna, mandrake, wool of bat. Belladonna, mandrake root, wool of bat. So it's these six items here. Just need to get dropped in. Hooray, we're ready. I think we just need uh, to get some empty bottles. Do I happen to have any of those laying around? Probably not. You know what I could do? Oh, I only got one redstone soup out of that? Oh well. Not the end of the world. Hey. There we go. All right, so now that I've got the redstone soup, wouldn't mind having a handful of extra bottles on hand. Let's just grab a bunch. Oh, why not a stack of 64? That sounds good, right? Or have a stack of 33. So now that we're ready for this, we can use the redstone soup uh, and we can get ourselves what we were looking to get. So that was the spirit of otherware. So I have ender, redstone soup, potion of swiftness. I have ender, we're going to need two of them. Redstone soup, potion of swiftness, the long duration one. Uh, and then drop of luck and wool of bat. Drop of luck. And I must have thrown the bat wool in here. Yes. Ready? Let's brew it up. I like how the, the color of the liquid turns a different color. And then, there we go. Is it ready? It's ready. Nice. White particle effects and that bubbling thing indicate readiness. And I think I should get two of these. One, two. Yes, and no more, right? Okay. Not a big deal. Yoink. All right, so the bucket we'll keep in here. And now we've got two spirits of otherware. Nice. We only need one of them, um, but you have the two because in case you want to test out some of the other uh, infusions, you can, and then you still have an extra one if you decide, you know what, that's the one I liked most, I'm going to stick with it. So now that we have the spirit of otherware, that's only one of the ingredients for the infusion uh, of our otherware power. Let's get ready for part two. All right, guys, the next component I'm going to need is some otherware chalk. I've already made golden, ritual, and infernal chalk, but I don't think I've made any otherware chalk. Uh, so for that, I'm uh, distilling up some quicklime and foul fume, as you may recall, is required to get yourself gypsum. And once we've got this gypsum, we can make the white chalk 
right here, and then we can upgrade that into some other wear chalk. I don't know if I have any water artichoke globes on me at the moment, but if I run back and get them, I think that's all I need uh, to get everything here. So I should have some from that farm I set up way back in the day. And you know what, I'll just grab half a stack. Can't hurt to stock up that diamond chest. Nice. So I'm gonna need two of those, and I believe I needed six of these guys, right? And then, uh, did I have an ender pearl? I just need one ender pearl. Hopefully, I have some here or not. I'll just bring half a stack's worth with me. Oh, it looks like it's getting late. Gypsum, you almost ready? Come on, buddy. Distiller is a little bit slow, especially when the area is not chunk loaded and I keep leaving. All right, so that should be good to get myself other wear chalk. So step one, gonna need some of you. Step two, gonna need some of you. Nice, other wear chalk, back in the daytime. All right, guys, now that it's daytime, we are ready to set up this ritual. Uh, so this little circle that we have to draw here, uh, we need a small um, one of these guys. So I think if I remember correctly, and we can kind of see it's represented over here. It's the same thing. So one, two, three, and there's three on either side. So I've gotten one, two, three, right? So there's actually two blocks, and then the third block is where you put the thing. So one, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. And then we expand one on either side of these. This other word chalk, by the way, is really cool looking stuff. And then you just connect them on the corner block there, and you've got your small circle. We're also gonna need a medium circle, which is just one um, gap away, so it's technically five blocks out from the center instead of the three blocks out. Good, I just barely fit there. So one, two, one, two on either side. And this is the medium circle, as you recall. Get out of there, otherwise glyph. One, two, and then one, two, one, two. Nice. And then we connect two corners. And that should be the medium circle that we need to draw for this process. All right, now there's one more thing that we need to worry about when we start messing with these magical powers. Infusing the player with this power is going to kill you. It just happens. And if you die as a result of it, you don't get the power. So we need to find a way to protect ourselves from death. How can we do that? Well, we're probably going to want to get ourselves a death protection poppet. So this is pretty cool. Uh, death protection poppets are pretty powerful devices. Um, all you need to do first is craft a poppet. For that, we're going to need some Spanish moss, which, hey, we just happen to have some right over here. Nice. Um, and I've got my shears ready to harvest a bunch of this stuff. Hooray. OK. So now that we've got ourselves a decent amount of Spanish moss, just kind of grabbing as much of it as I can because I'll let it all regrow. Um, what else we're going to need here for our just generic poppet is wool and a bone needle, which is just bone, so that's easy enough to get your hands on and string. So we'll head back to our base and get that. Now, if I want a death protection poppet, so there's many types of poppets you can get, some of them for uh, offensive uses, some of them for defensive uses, more for PvP orientation. But the death protection poppet is the best because it protects you from all forms of death, including death by infusion. So we're going to need some diamond vapor and a drop of luck. Hmm. More drops of luck, huh? All right, so Diamond Vapor, Refined Evil. Um, what was that drop of luck? It was Drop of Luck, Refined Evil, and Mutandus, and a Water Bottle. Okay, so Mutandus Extremis. And a Water Bottle. And then we'll craft that up for ourselves. Get ourselves a drop of luck okay so the death protection poppet uh was diamond vapor a drop of luck i've got that ready to go and then just uh the poppet itself so let's go back because i'm gonna have wool and string back at our base so 
So let's get ourselves a generic poppet first. Um, that's easy enough. We just need the bone needle and the generic poppet. And you know, let's get ourselves a little bit more string. So I wouldn't mind having a few more of these death protection poppets on hand. Well, I'll just get the one for now, because I need the other stuff anyway, don't I? So pop it, diamond vapor, drop of luck, gets us the death protection poppet. Nice. So now that we've got the death protection poppet, we don't have to worry about death, at least for a little bit. Now, if you want this poppet to be effective, you either need to have it in your inventory, or you need to build yourself a poppet shelf. So that does require some attuned stones, some nether brick, and some green wool. Uh, none of that stuff is really readily available to us, but I might make a poppet shelf shortly, uh, and just having that somewhere will protect you from death if there's a death protection poppet on it. But uh, before we can actually use this death protection poppet, we actually have to bind it to our character, and for that we're gonna need a tag lock kit. How do we get tag lock kits? Well, let's take a look. First off, you just have to craft yourself one. And it's not too bad. Bone needle plus glass bottle. Cool. Now that I've got a tag lock kit, I have to apply it to myself. Unfortunately, I can't take things directly off myself, but uh, the way to either get it is right click on a player to attempt to get it or right click on a player's bed. And ta-da, I've got a tag lock kit that's bound to direwolf. I associate that with my death protection poppet and now we have a death protection poppet that's bound to direwolf 20. Nice. I do not fear death at this moment. I think, therefore, I have everything I need to get ready for this infusion. I think all I have to do is drop the Spirit of Otherware, and do I have... That's Bruise and Infusions. I guess my Circle Magic book is back at home, but oh well. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'll put this stuff away. Don't need that right now. I'm pretty sure now all I need to do is make sure my altar has more than 4,000 power, which I'd be shocked if it was below that number. Yeah, we're good. And make sure that um, I have the Spirit of Otherware. That goes dropped right there. And then cross your fingers. Ta-da! Direwolf is infused with Ender Power. Oh yeah. You'll notice my Death Protection Poppet got destroyed. Um, whenever you die, your Death Protection Poppet is destroyed, so keep that in mind. Uh, you do not want to uh, try that infusion without one on you, otherwise you absolutely will die. Um, and I could go ahead and make myself a new Death Protection Poppet, but I'll hold off for now. Uh, I've got a neat little power bar over on the left-hand side. Let's see how we can use it. First, I need to find an Ent. So before I can really, you know, take advantage of this nifty little gadget that I've got here, I need to summon an Ent. And the best way, as far as I recall, to do that is to chop down some trees. That tends to anger Mother Nature and uh, summon us an Ent. So I'm just going to start hammering away at these trees for a little bit, and I'll be back, hopefully, if I get an Ent to spawn. Ah, I hear something. There it is. Ents. They're spawning. I guess they really didn't like all that chopping down of trees thing. One of them spawned inside lava, they were so angry. All right, so let's get this thing going. Remember your best bet for killing these things is make sure to get the killing blow with that Arthana and it has a better chance of dropping the rare drop that we want. I did not mean to summon more than one, but... Got one down. Did I get what I want from it? I did, an Ent Twig, nice. Take this guy down too. All right, I meant for the killing blow to happen, but oh, I got another end twig anyway. Nice, and some hawthorn stuff. Uh, not the end of the world. Not super crucial. Let's go ahead and put these away. I don't need this stuff at the moment. That looks good. Cool. He's still got power. I must. Uh, he, I don't know where his power comes from. Must be a Tesseract. I don't know. I kind of forget how I set that system up. All right, I want to sleep through the night, and then we're ready to do the next step. All right, guys, there's one more thing I need for this little bit of magic power, and that is a witch. So hopefully I can find one. I've been flying around at night here looking for a witch's hut. I think I just tracked one down. Let's check it out. All right, guys, I think a witch just spawned over there in that hut. Let's take it out. Cross your fingers that I get what I need from this one. 
Remember, always use your Arthana to kill the mob that you're trying to get witchery-related stuff from. Nice, I got a witch's hand. Awesome. So the witch's hand, which occasionally drops from witches, and wow, that is cool. Ha, <laughs> looks like this volcano just spawned inside this tree. Awesome. Uh, so the witch's hand is pretty neat. Let's head back to our base, and I'll show it to you. All right, just happens to be daytime starting, so let's check out what our witch's hand can do for us. Uh, simply right-click to teleport a short distance to the targeted location. Cool. Uh, you can tell that you can only teleport a short distance. It's not terribly far. If you want to go a longer distance, you have to hold right-click, and then when it tells you that teleport's charged, you can release to teleport a further distance away. That, of course, is going to drain a little bit more magic power. If you notice on the left-hand bar there, my magic meter is dropping just a little bit. Boom. Teleported. Nice. That's cool. Of course, the one downside to this, you need your uh, witch's hand handy, so do make sure not to lose that thing, or you're going to end up be wind up... Uh, Camping outside a witch's hut like I was for 15 minutes. Neat. Something to be said for right-click teleport, right? I like it. All right, so besides that, um, you know, right-click teleport uh, long distance, you can hold right-click while sneaking, and it will set your current position as a recall point. So I'm going to do it right over here by my altar, just for demonstration purposes. Hold right-click while sneaking, and... Release mouse button to set recall point. Boom. Nice. It's set to the overall at 45, 82, 81. And then if you want uh, to get back to where you're going, uh, right click while sneaking to teleport. Ta-da! And you teleport right back to where you were. And of course that's also going to drain just a bit of magic power there. Now I'm curious. I'm actually not sure. I think you can teleport across dimensions. We're going to find out. Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice. So if I wanted to, I could bind this to my base, and I could always get home whenever I wanted to, or I could just keep it bound here, and of course there's a book right next to this location, so it might not be a terrible idea to uh, bind this here. All right, that's pretty neat. What other kind of cool stuff can we do? Now for some offensive abilities with this magic power, you can left click um, to teleport your um, targeted creature and you. Now you have to be sneaking for that, so I think I was sneaking when I did that. And it teleports you guys back to your location. You can left click on a mob to do some other stuff too with them. So let's see, just left click without holding shift and you'll see that you'll get uh, thrown up into the air. Cool. And you can keep doing this if you want. And eventually they'll drop and take fall damage. It's a little clunky to use, um, but it's not, you know, really meant to be an offensive power. This is one of the more defensive and nifty utility abilities. Obviously, um, you know, there's three other infusions I think that you can do, which basically equates to cooler powers. Let's see if I can get... Go! Nice. All right, guys, now you might be wondering, how do we recharge this power here? Well, don't worry. Your circle magic ability list will show you that there's a rite of charging, uh, which requires a 7x7 seven seven and an 11x11 11 11, um, normal white uh, powered circle, which we just happen to have here. Uh, we were using this previously. This is the same setup we need. So in order to get this going, all we need is an altar that has a base of 4,000 power. So if we come over here, we'll see that we should have recharged by now. Yeah, we're pretty much full. Um, and then all we have to do is toss a potion of regeneration into the circle and activate it boom and if we hang out in the circle we should see our potion there we go our power has been recharged and then we can right click the altar to clear it out and now this thing is all cleaned up no longer running no longer draining power by the way it does uh, continuously drain power from your altar it indicates in the book that it's a uh, pretty much 40 power per second from your altar after that initial charge of 4,000 which you can see there so that did quickly drain 4,000 but don't worry your altar recharges pretty quickly especially when you have it upgraded the way we do nice uh, so that has refilled my power and I can once again activate my abilities cool right so lots of different nifty tricks uh if you want to go and play around with some of the other infusions they're definitely worth checking out i think this is the one i want to stick with though because the ability to teleport and uh you know zip around might definitely help especially if we run into any ender trouble hopefully they don't have the ability to lock this down or anything i don't think so though i think i should be just fine cool 
All right, guys, with that, it feels like a pretty good wrapping up point for the episode. Uh, we've made some good progress today. I did get my hands on an Entwig, and I wouldn't mind making one of the mystical uh, items that Entwigs can do for us. Um, I'll probably go ahead and make one of those um, next episode, maybe. Uh, it's a pretty quick process. I don't think it's too hard. There is infusion required, but it's not player infusion, so it's not nearly as dangerous. It's just infusing an item with some magical abilities. We'll definitely be checking it out. All right, guys, for now, Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.